Hi there. How's it going? I am Jared Garrett, and I am an author of adventure novels. I have a couple questions for you, but first, I'd like to kind of show you around my wonderful, wonderful office. Look. Hats. A bullwhip. My balding head. What? Some swords. Great artwork. Yeah. This is the office of an author who writes just kind of part-time whenever I can make time to write. I've got a bunch of kids, and my wife is a lawyer, and life is great as an author. Uh, but I have a question for you, sir, and I want you to think about it because I'm about to tell you about some pretty cool stuff. What kind of thing makes your imagination go... Do you like cool worlds? Like if you think about movies that you've seen, like the Jumanji movies, the most recent ones with The Rock and Karen Gillan and Jack Black. Do those make you kind of all excited because they're fast-paced and fun, but they're also in a world that you never know what's going to happen? Um, how about, do you, like, uh, do you like romance? I mean, it's okay to like romance. Appropriate stuff, of course. Do you like heroism? Heroism is when people uh, go and do a hard thing even though it's hard and even though it may even be scary. Well, books, stories... They're a great way to learn about heroism. I want to tell you a really quick story about heroism and why I write books. So when I was younger, I didn't have a very good childhood. I had a weird way. I didn't really have parents growing up at all. Um, I, I felt unsafe in most of the places that I lived in um, and didn't really have anywhere I could go to be safe or uh, anywhere I could go to that I felt that I could trust, except... In my room, I was out of the eye of the weirdos and hard people who were raising me and the other kids I was growing up with. But if I was on my bed and I had a book, I was safe. And so I read books like The Black Stallion and the whole series of The Black Stallion books. And um, books by a guy named R.A. Salvatore. R is an A, or those are initials. Uh, he made a character called Drizzt Dorden, and he is my favorite fantasy character of all time. I read Bridge to Terabithia, and it made me cry like a baby, and I still cry when I read that book. I read all kinds of books. In fact, I read every single fantasy novel and science fiction novel and comic book in a branch called the Oaklawn Branch of the Dallas Public Library System in Dallas. I read every single one. And I can promise you that because of that, I I was better than I could have than I would have been otherwise. It gave me a place to feel safe. It gave me something to aspire to, you know, to think about, you know, if I was in this situation, would I be able to do this? And I would think, you know what, I would like to be able to do this. I'd like to be brave enough. I'd like to be strong enough. I'd like to be healthy enough. I'd like to sacrifice myself, and you know, for others. Yeah, I want to be a hero in my life. And you know what? I was a firefighter. I didn't rescue anybody from a fire, but I was a firefighter. And I got to do cool things as a firefighter because I grew up reading books. And so now I write books, books that are clean, full of adventure, full of exciting worlds and exciting creatures, uh, plenty of fighting with swords and knives and uh, blasters and stuff, but not bloody, just really cool, fun action. Um, and it, in my books, my, my characters are usually younger people, usually around anywhere from the age of 12 or 13 or 14 up to about 18 or 19 or 20. Um, and they just are fun, nonstop books. So I want to just show you a little quick, uh, a little bit about each of my books. So first is Beyond the Cabin. Uh, this is an old cover, but it's called Beyond the Cabin. And it's about, it's a novel about a young man growing up in a cult who's trying to escape, especially after a terrible tragedy happens. He's trying to escape. Uh, he doesn't feel like he's got anybody he can trust. Does that sound like my story? It does. This is sort of my story. So that's Beyond the Cabin. And then there's this really cool book called The Seer. And Beyond the Cabin is like Bridge to Terabithia or Jacob Have I Loved or um, Turtles All the Way Down or Wonder or something like that. The Seer is a lot like a Jim Butcher uh, novel with magic in our modern world. This is about a young man who's on an archaeology dig in Egypt during a torrential downpour. And he happens upon the old cloak of a, a, a guy named Joseph and uh, he happens to put it on just by accident with a fr with help of a, of a friend of his, his none of his girlfriend. And it gives him powers. He can look into people's eyes and see what's going on in their lives. And then he looks into the eyes of a terrorist. 
And what do you do? You become a hero. Oh, yeah. Then you've got books like Beat and Push, which are book one and book two of a science fiction series about a young man who doesn't believe what he's being told. And he tries to find the truth and he discovers that humanity might have been murdered. They live in a world where if your heart rate goes over 140 beats per minute, you die because of this thing in the air called the bug. But everybody wears this little wrist computer on, on their wrist that'll knock them out and bring their heart rate down if their heart rate gets too high. But it's controlling them. Maybe. Anyway, so that's a non-stop twisty thriller adventure. And then I have my trilogy, which is so much fun. You've got Laconi. You've got Usurper. And you've got Red Prince. Laconi right now is actually uh, the class text in a really cool private school. Um, not a private school. A um, junior school in Croydon in the United Kingdom. Uh, it's a lot of fun. These are adventure novels that t take place in kind of a Mayan Aztec world. You can kind of see the artwork there. Um, really fun world. So I just wanted to share those things with you. I wanted to tell you that reading is the greatest way to find safety, to find who we are, to find out what's most important to us. As we read great stories of people who really overcome all kinds of odds, uh, A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Diary of Anne Frank, very, these inspiring novels and oh, like the most perfect book on the planet, um, To Kill a Mockingbird, we find ourselves. We find strength. We build character, and we can build our own story. And that's what I want to end on. Read books, and you can start to learn to tell your own story better. You can find out what your true story really is, and then you can tell it to yourself and tell it to the world. Because you have a story, and the world needs it, my friends. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome day, and enjoy books.